The effects of COVID-19 on the operations of the manufacturers continues to linger on, even as the economy gradually gets back to life. This has been worsened by the inflationary pressures resulting from the ongoing Russian invasion of Ukraine. All that put together suppresses consumers' purchasing power, leaving the manufacturers to deal with the shocks. Currently, we are going through a patch at the country that the demand is a bit suppressed and the, our members are not producing and selling enough. This impacts their bottom line, it impacts their operation and we need to help them to overcome this. During the annual general meeting, it became obvious that a key cost areas for manufacturers is the cost of power, which increases significantly the entire production cost. In the engagement between government and the manufacturers to solve this problem, things seem closer to fruition than they have ever been. We are working very closely with the Christian Regulator Authority. We have a technical committee that is looking at this subject. Uh, it's still work in progress, but what I can assure members of UMA is that we should be sorted most likely in 2023, which is just a few days from now, and this is great news. It's great news because we will be also having additional uh, loading of uh, the uh, Kaluma Dam power, and of course because this is a, a, a government project where we're not looking at profit, this will address the cost of doing business. All the odds notwithstanding, there was one thing to write home about for the manufacturers, and that is the import substitution policy, which government seems to have followed with a rare zeal and could soon help cut back on the 10 billion US dollars import bill. Ismail Musa Ladu, NTV Business.